I have this box full of makeup and I definitely did a lot of financial damage. I think I actually have to split this video into two because it's a lot. The highlight of today's video is this palette by Daisy. I love the packaging so so much. I actually did use most of the products already because I am just very impatient. This is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. I'm going in with the lightest matte shade and use it as a base. This eyeshadow palette is very very natural. I'm going to go in with this shade in the outer corner and darken everything up a little. The shadows blend very easily. So I think this palette is like perfect for beginners. Since the shadows are very neutral, I feel like this palette would look good on everyone. Day 6 palettes are known for their glitters and I am a big fan of glitter. So we're going to use these now and I can tell you already that they are amazing. I will use these two shades, this one first and then top it off with this. It's so pretty. This is such a pretty glitter. Now the lighter one on top. For eyeliner, I'm going to use Cleo's Sharp So Simple Waterproof Pencil Liner in the shade 03. I have no idea why I didn't buy this earlier because I heard so many good things about it. It's so good. I'm just drawing a small wing. I had to do the eyeliner off camera because I don't know how people do it but I have to be this close to my mirror otherwise I just cannot do it. I'm not gonna lie the eyeliner doesn't look great today but you know it is what it is. The eyeliner is very easy to use. It's very blendable. It doesn't smudge. I will definitely get the other colors too. Now we are setting the gel liner with some eyeshadow. Sometimes I go in with a brush liner as well to just sharpen the line down here. I'm not having a good eyeliner day. I kept trying to fix it but I feel like it's just getting worse. So I'm going to stop here and do my mascara. Romance Han All Fix in Long Black. This is my favorite mascara. I have been using this for a year now and I absolutely love it. This is perfect for Asian stubborn lashes. So if your lashes tend to droop down throughout the day, this is perfect for you. I will leave the eyes as they are now and I will move on to my face makeup. I got my hands on the Cleo Kill Cover Mesh Glow Cushion because it has gone viral on social media. I usually don't use foundation because I don't like the heavy feeling on my face. But I was just so curious so I got it. I love the packaging. I'm going to rip this off. The sponge. Open this up. And peeling this off. I hope this is my shade. I got the shade Linen. So number three. I think this is the second lightest. I hope it's not too orange on my face. Taking a little bit from the lid first, I'm just going to apply a very thin layer so it doesn't feel heavy. It blends beautifully and as you can see, it gives me such a glow. Putting a bit on my forehead, which I never do either. Putting a bit more on my cheek area because that is where I have the most redness. Oh my god, my skin looks so healthy. I have a bit of a dry patch around my nose tip, but it doesn't really cling onto it or like accentuates it a lot. This actually looks like my skin, but a bit better. This is definitely a light to medium coverage, I would say, but I'm just doing a very thin layer anyway. I think if you build it up a little bit more than I do, you get 
more coverage out of it. My skin looks so good, but I definitely have to set it, do the rest of my makeup, and also let it sit. You can only judge foundation when it's been sitting on your face for a few hours already, but so far it's very pretty. Since it's just light coverage, I'm going to do a little bit of spot concealing. I usually don't get a lot of pimples, but when I do, I get those very big and deep ones, the ones that hurt so much. I still have some pigmentation and scars from my last breakout. Using a cream concealer first, just tapping it in with my finger. I also got this concealer pencil by the Sam in the shade 1.5 I believe. I think they have like three shades and this one is the middle shade. I also got this for spot concealing as well as doing my ego side. So let's use it for spot concealing first. I did go in with another concealer first because in the process of blending out everything you lose a little bit of coverage again. So I just want to use this to dot it on and then leave it like that. I'm literally that person who doesn't use foundation but then uses five different types of concealer. <laughs> I do use a liquid concealer under my eyes because I have very, very dry under eyes. Everything is blended out and the base looks so good. I'm going to set it with a bit of powder now. I only concentrate my powder under my eyes and I use this powder puff to work it in my nose and my forehead. My forehead is always very shiny. <laughs> and then I just use whatever is left on the puff to set the rest of my face. I'm using this color and I'm just putting a bit under my lash line just in the outer corner of my eye these eyeshadows blend so well they're so pretty definitely have to get some of their other ones as well I'm using the same shade to draw the ego side the same concealer pencil and blend it with my finger and then one of my new favorite products by Peripera it's the ink thin thin brush liner in the color 05 pink I have the Maltese version so the packaging is very cute This is such a beautiful, subtle glitter. This does not budge at all. I swatched it the other day together with some eyeliners that I got and I wanted to see if they are budge proof. And I literally started rubbing my hand and this did not move at all. Okay, eyes are finally done. We're finishing the base. I am doing a tiny bit of contour. A little bit of highlighter on the nose. I think I'm going to skip my cheeks because they're pretty glowy already but I do want my nose bridge to look a little higher. A bit on the cupid's bow as well. Another product that I was so excited about getting as well is the News Liquid Care Cheek. If I understood correctly this is Romance Sister brand and their products are a hybrid of skincare and makeup. I have to show you the packaging because it is so pretty definitely not doing it justice but they packaged it so well this is what it looks like this comes in a glass bottle guys definitely looks and feels very expensive oh my god it's so pretty i got this in the shade 02 i have really been I've really been into liquid and cream blushes lately. My face looks so pink compared to the rest of my body. This is kind of a natural muted pink color. Ooh, it feels so refreshing. I still have so much product left on my hand. Should I just put everything on? I feel like I look a little bit 
overblushed. But honestly, when am I not overblushed? Since I still have a bit of leftover, I'm going to put a bit on my chin, more on my nose tip. I like to put blush on my forehead as well. I feel like it gives you a very natural, fresh look. This color is so pretty and this blended out so well as well. My skin looks so good. The color is so pretty. Look at the glow. I am such a sucker for makeup that is good for your skin. So I do know that they have a lot more shade, but this brand is also a lot more expensive compared to the Roman product. Obviously, since it's makeup and skincare in one. Doing my brows real quick. I just brush them out, fill in the ends and then set them. Finally, the last step, lips. I'm using the Colorgram Lip Pencil in the shade Warm Peach as a base. My friend got me this when she went to Korea and I have been using it ever since. So it's been a few months already. It comes with two different sides. So we have a contour shade and then the lip liner shade. I first use the contour shade and this doesn't have to be very precise because we're going to blend it out anyway. As you can see, my lips look so much bigger already. The lip liner shade. I'm going to bring back a little bit of color to my lips and I have the Roman Melting Balms here. These also went viral on TikTok. I got two shades from their latest collection, so the Nude collection. I got the shades 11 and 13. I'm going to use 11 first, which is the lighter shade. I feel like this shade is a really nice My Lips But Better shade. And then I will use shade 13 to do a bit of a gradient. These, by the way, don't stay in your lips. They are just colored lip balms. They are so comfortable on the lips. This is the finished look. It's very natural. I love it. Perfect for every day. I have no idea which product is my favorite. I love the Daisic glitter. I love the blush. So far, I love the foundation. I love the Peripera glitter. My lips look so pretty too right now. I think this was a very successful haul. I still have a bunch of products left, so you will see the rest in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye!